Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. My name is Ben Grist and I'm so happy to be here today and to be giving another update on this channel because it feels like it's been forever. Wow, what a year it's been. I can't believe that this time last year I just finished my BAP, my Bishop's Advisory Panel, and I've been told I was going to be spending this next year doing something called pre-theological education before then heading off to ministerial training. In my BAP report, they had highlighted some areas in the panel that they felt that it would be good for me to be having some more experience in before I started my official studies. And for me, this particular area that they pointed out was concerning leadership and collaboration, one of the nine criteria. And so this last year, I've been spending my time experiencing placements at different styles of church and writing up a massive report on what I've learned through them alongside my job and working alongside the church as well. So for me at first things were a little bit all up in the air as none of us really had planned for me to be staying here in London for an extra year but from the generosity of a member from the church offering me somewhere to stay uh, to me being given two other jobs almost also from other members of the church I was able to do all of my placements alongside my work and God has just been blessing me so much throughout this time. Officially, this past year was called my pre-theological education, as naturally I was partaking in education prior to my official theological training at a theological college. Everyone's experience doing pre-theological education will be different, but for me it was to spend a period of nine months being involved in two different placements where I'd weekly shadow different leaders there and then learn from them about different styles of leadership and just how incredible collaborative ministry really is. As well as this, I've been continuing my work in ministry experience at the church, and I've been working for a pro audio sales company alongside some freelancing in my spare time. As you can imagine, this has kept me busy, but it hasn't stopped me from continuing to do what I love, making videos for you guys too. The last few months have been rather different than expected, as I'm sure you know, but thankfully I was able to finish my rationale my 2000 word report, my weekly journal, and all my reading in time to send it off to the candidates panel who met together a few weeks ago. And after another interview, the candidates panel had reviewed everything I produced over this last year, and they were really thrilled to recommend me to the bishop to start my ministerial training. So it's done. I've been officially accepted now to go forward for ministerial training. And where better to study than Wycliffe Hall at the University of Oxford. And that's where I'll be spending the next three years of my time studying alongside placements and my ministerial formation. Aside from a typical degree at Oxford Uni or the standard Durham accredited theology degree most ordinands tend to study, I'll actually be following the official Oxford BA in theology and religion. Although this is the end of my official discernment process, I think for me discernment and formation are things that we'll all continue to be growing in and learning in the future. That's pretty much everything I wanted to share with you guys today. In terms of uh, dates and times for the next few months, uh, I'll actually be finishing my time here at London next week actually, and I'll be finishing with my time at the church, and then I'll be moving uh, back to Paul with my family for a few months before then heading off to uni at the end of September. If you do any, have any questions about the discernment process with the Church of England, or any of the things that I shared today, or even about pre-theological education, if you've been recommended to do that, then I'd love to answer some of your questions, but why don't you also feel free to leave a comment below about some of your experiences and questions. That's everything we've got time for today, guys, and I'll chat to you soon. Bye.